What is going on everybody? Alan Wade back here with a, another video for you and today I'm going to be unboxing some Mighty Hoops. Well, one Mighty Hoop from Hoopmaster and without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Wait a minute. So this hoop master, if you guys remember this mighty hoop rather, if you guys remember, I was doing a varsity jacket the other day, a few episodes ago, and I couldn't do the varsity jacket because my hoops weren't big enough. Now I could have used a standard hoop that came with my Rakoma MT1501, but I don't know, for some reason I just wanted to use a uh, mighty hoop because I'm spoiled. When you use mighty hoops, you, you get kind of spoiled. And I didn't want to do it with anything but a mighty hoop because when you use the other hoops that came with the machine, they're fine and dandy and everything, but you get like kind of like a ring around your clothes. And it could be kind of tough to, um, you know, take that stuff out. It comes out over time just fine, but Hoopmaster Mighty Hoops makes everything 100% so so easy so let's see what we got in this box right here let's see what we got i think got something extra to show you guys too all right so we have oh my gosh we got the 13 by 16 mighty hoop right here and look how much real estate this takes up right here so you can i can now hoop a jacket the back of that jacket and um embroider something this big all right and let me show you guys what you get when you order this thing you get this and you get your handles for the corresponding machine when you order it like this you just put the handles on like here one here and the other one right here put the handles on with the provided screws and you are good to go i have so many of these mighty hoops guys i can't tell you how much of a lifesaver how much of a time saver they are and i absolutely love these things all right so you just unsnap that right here and i want you guys to listen to the snap i might be messing up my fingers here because you shouldn't do this without it just i dropped it on there but it's not a Anyway, I got to put on the handles first for, to, to demonstrate that fully. But um, there's also something else in here, guys. I want to show you something. These are some brackets to make lining this up, to make putting on this. This works with your hoop master station right here. Um, and this actually lines up with the tab of this right here, the tab of this mighty hoop right here. goes on the bottom part. And this part right here locks in to here. It actually goes into the, the bottom of it. So if I can separate this, all right. You put this, you lock this into your hoop master station, right? The big hoop master station. And then I can put the tab of this in here, right? This part goes at the top right here. And I'll put the other part right in here. And we're hooping with our larger hoop. All right, now this enables you to hoop Perfectly say if you have a, a couple large items it enables you to hoop perfectly every single time exactly in the same spot Especially if you're doing the same items. Let me take a moment and let me put these handles on Only thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line them up right here. I'm gonna drop a screw in here drop a screw in here right and I'm just gonna take the nut and I'm gonna screw it in from the other side all right it's really really simple so i'm going to be right back let me just take a moment and do that real fast just drop these screws in here actually goes the other way around all right it goes this way all right so yeah let me take a moment and do that and i'll be right back it goes this way you put the um screw down here all right because it has a little groove in the screw and then you use the nut to screw in right here all right, nice and tight. You don't have to do it like super, super tight, but I like to make sure it's nice and tight so that um, when it's in the machine, there's no play and it's not shifting or anything. That's why they provide you with three screws per side. Make sure you put them in nice and firm. 
not super, super tight, but nice and firm. All right, so let me do that and I'll be right back, guys. I'm back, guys, and as you can see, I have my handles locked on nice and securely. All right, so uh, first of all, when you put this into your machine, you wanna make sure this U-shape right here is on your right-hand side and you're pushing it in like this, all right? So that's how you're gonna put it into the machine. Now, let me demonstrate the snap that makes it so easy to put it on. So you line, put this underneath your garment, all right? You put your cutaway stabilizer on top of that, right? To keep the item stable. Or in the case of a sturdy like denim jacket or sturdy um, Carhartt jacket or something, you don't even need to use stabilizer to be honest with you guys because that stuff doesn't have that much give. But you can use some stabilizer just to make yourself feel better. And the point of this is to show you how much this locks into place. If you get your fingers in here, it won't be a good day. All right, it will sting like crazy. And guys, when I first got my um, embroidery machine, I thought to myself, I'm just going to use the regular hoops that came with the machine because this stuff is just too much money and it's just something that I'm not going to need. I can understand how it might be, um, it might be, you know, make things faster, but I think the regular hoops are going to be sufficient. And guys, when I bought my first Mighty Hoop, um, I saw how much faster it improved my production. And you guys are going to be just like me. Some of you guys are going to say, I'm not buying a Mighty Hoop. I'm just going to use a regular hoop. Some of you guys probably still use regular hoops. And if you do use regular hoops, I, I, I'm warning you right now, don't get a Mighty Hoop. Because if you do, you're just going to buy more and more and more. As a matter of fact, you're going to buy so much so, so much more. I bought some of my friends along with me. Some of my favorite ones that I have, the classic 5x5. Five five. I have one, two, three of these. And I actually have four of these. I have another one. Um, at home at the other house with my uh, MT-1501 and guess what my second favorite hoop is the 8x13 and guess how many of those I have one two I have three of those also three 8x13s four 5x5s which are my favorite hoop because that does the left chest and um, I do have a sleeve hoop and I do have other small hoop matter of fact let me run and get it real fast here we go I have this odd shaped mighty hoop right here, which is a nine by three inch mighty hoop right here. Never used this yet, but I thought it was a cool little shape and I have, so I, I got it. Then I have the longer one, which uh, do some research when you're buying your mighty hoops. Make sure it's something that you're absolutely going to need. But um, this one, these ones I'm definitely going to need. Also have the 10 by 10 mighty hoop. Um, so I th I'm probably going to end up with two of these guys because just in case I'm doing multiple jackets, it just helps to have more than one, especially, especially, especially if you have a um, multi head machine, you're definitely going to need quite a bit of mighty hoops. But um, for me, since I have one MT-1501 and two EM-1010s, um, the only thing you need to do, I need to do is buy different brackets so I can interchange my brackets. Um, between the EM-1010 and the MT-1501. But other than that, guys, Mighty Hoops are a super, super time saver, a super, super life saver, and um, they make stuff go so fast. And these right here, you got the clips. So when you use your Hoop Master Station, you can put your stabilizer on there, right? Lock it in like that. Imagine if this was on the, um, the uh, Hoop Master Station, you know? They wouldn't go like that. It would go like this. You would use this one, this part right here. And put that here. All right? Put this one over here. All right? I'm not demonstrating this well because my, my hoop master is not here where I am. And then you put your stabilizer on there, right? You lock your stabilizer in like so. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, right? <laughs> this is terrible. It's all, all just falling apart. And um, and then you just hoop it at the top. You just drop the uh, top part down. And when you drop your top part down, because it has these flaps right here, these flaps keep the stabilizer in place and you're good to go cooking on gas, guys. I love this thing. Um, hoop Master, you guys really created a great product, right? And um, it really helps simplify 
our process when we're embroidering and when we're working. And I just want to give a shout out to Hoopmaster and thank Hoopmaster. I'm not sponsored by Hoopmaster. Don't have any affiliation by them from them. But when I when there's a good product, I feel like it needs to be um, given to you guys so you guys know how what I, how I feel about it and that it is in fact a legit product that I feel will speed things up for you guys 100% and it will make your life a whole lot easier, especially when it comes to lining things up and making things perfect and pristine. We're all looking for perfection and without these mitre hoops, perfection is really, really hard to get with the regular hoops. I mean, the regular hoops does have a hoop master with the regular hoops, but just skip that and get the mighty hoops guys so um real short video today thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already don't forget to follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram and follow me on facebook adub productions on all of those social medias give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know what your experiences are with your mighty hoop if you have any and um i'll talk to you guys on the next video it's alan wade thank you so much for watching peace Listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby